G'day all, Wayne here, Wombat Models, and uh, welcome back to the Trumpeter Aslav PC Phase 3 build. So in the last video, uh, we got up to the end of Stage 5, where all the suspension and drivetrain components were installed, apart from the props and the prop guards. I'll be leaving those till we're ready to go to primer. I don't want to try and knock them off. And... We've also left off stage 6, the wheels and tyres. We'll come back and we'll pick them up later on. Uh, we'd got into stage 7. Uh, I still need to install all the little PE bits. So you've got uh, PE that goes in around each of the suspension mounts. So they're uh, little keyhole type parts used for raising and lowering the wheels, support arms when changing tyres. I'll leave them off till a bit later. So... New section of the build, so stay, uh, step 8, so again there's the PE on the other side and the prop guards, we'll leave those off. I uh, did have to get the Pioneer tool mount, uh, so we have put that on to the vehicle. As you can see we've left off the tools, I'll do those later and paint them individually. And as I said, leaving off the wheels at this stage. So into stay, step 9. I've installed uh, part C18, the commander's cupola, but I've left off the vision blocks. So you can see that there, commander's cupola is in place. Now, on that, uh, as I mentioned in the last video, uh, looking at uh, Jason Miller's build review over on Armor Armor, uh, there is actually supposed to be a bulge at the front of the commander's cupola just in behind the driver's hatch. So I do still need to go back and scratch build that and add that. Uh, and step 8, I've also left off the rear hatch just because there's some photo etch bits there and I haven't got around to doing the photo etch. So you can see the hatch has been left off, but it has been cut off the parts and cleaned up, ready for use. Uh, so that's step 9. Step 10 um, just deals with fitting various uh, hatches, uh, the Pioneer tool rack and camp hole net. Uh, mount, well sorry, campile mounts. So I have got those front hatch covers in place and also the side one there for the auxiliary power port. Uh, as I said, pointy tool rack is in place. Uh, Going to leave off all the little uh, grab handles and latches until closer to the end. I don't want to risk knocking any of them off when we go to paint. And also in step 10, uh, installed the brush guards and the rack for POL, so petrol oil lubricants, so the jerry cans will go there and the brush, uh, uh, the brush guard has been fitted on that side. Okay, going on to step 11, uh, again it's just fitting some hatches uh, on top, the exhaust and the driver's hatch. I have left the driver's hatch off for the moment as you can see, but I have fitted the two hatches on top of the compartment. Uh, the exhaust have taken that off the sprue and put the exhaust half together. Uh, there are some join lines so on the ends and on the sides that will need to be cleaned up. So it'll need to go into putty, uh, sorry, putty and clean up. And I have got the exhaust tip. I uh, have cleaned up all the mole separation lines on the sides there, ready to put that in place. But we'll do that later on. Uh, one thing we do have to do on that step though is with the POL rack and the brush guard on the starboard side of the vehicle. So the cam pole nets are in, sorry, the cam pole racks are in, POL rack is in. But uh, on the front brush guard, there's actually bits of the guard are missing. So you're supposed to have an arm running from here, support arm from there, and another support arm going up. So I'll have to scratch build those. And also while we're looking at that, on the POL racks, uh, they were molded with a solid divider through the center, filled in the whole thing. So you can see on both sides, I've taken that solid divider out, just left the front strap, and we'll come back with um, just some, probably one mil flat stock, and just put in a support bar at the top and just in at the bottom on both sides, just to make it look a little bit uh, more realistic. Uh, so we'll leave off the all the antennas, uh, mirrors and the guards until later. As I said, don't want to knock any of those off when we go to paint. Uh, step 12, most of that will be omitted. We've already put in that bracket on the side of the power rack. 
I will leave that for the moment. Uh, step 13, again deals with a lot of uh, ancillary pieces. We've put the rack on on the port side, but again we'll leave off all the mirrors and all the uh, smoke grenade discharges, the driver's heads up display and the likes. We'll come back and get them later. So what we'll probably move on to next is step 14. Just build up the commander's, uh, the base for the commander's remote weapon station. Probably leave the plat machine gun mount for the MAG-58, which mounts on the back of the vehicle. Leave that out for the moment. Just got to work out where to actually put that. Uh, we'll come back to step 15. There's some PE rack on top. I'll probably leave that for a while. Skip most of that in the tie downs. We'll probably then move on to step 16, so the uh, building the Kongsberg AM151 Protector Remote Weapon Station for the Commander's Cupola. So I might build that up. This is a nice little sort of almost a mini kit within the kit. Uh, step 17 again goes with a lot of small fittings, so we'll probably leave as much of that off as we can until the end. Already attached the upper and lower hull. So then we can move on to step 19, which is the uh, generator and the storage box, which I believe in my first video when I did the unboxing I may refer to as a fridge. My mistake, it is actually just a storage box. I'll be leaving the gen set off. Uh, it wasn't generally carried on the Aslave PC, only on the Aslave Command and the Aslave Surveillance models, but I will use it for a, a bit of a diorama I've got in mind, but that'll come later on. Uh, so I'll just do the storage box and the, the rack. When I go to fit it, it will be on the opposite side. So instead of being on the port side behind the driver and commander, it'll be mounted on the uh, right, so the starboard side. Basically, they were that was done so the commander had a clear field of view. So rather than being obstructed by the storage box here, the storage box will be on the other side. So we'll do that later on. And then we'll be coming up to the final step where we're just going to finish off the rear plate. So it's coming along. Uh, as I said, I'll leave all the little bits and pieces off uh, until we get to the priming stage. Now, when it does come to priming, uh, still trying to make up my mind whether to use the SMS Surfacer Black or the SMS Surfacer Grey. I had thought about using um, uh, Mr. Surfacer Mahogany, but I don't actually have any at the moment, so I might just maybe take the Surfacer Grey from SMS and maybe tint that a bit of a reddy colour with a bit of brown or something like that just to give me a different colour rather than using the black but I'm still thinking about that and obviously as I've said before when it comes to painting the vehicle the cam will be done with the SMS colours. So that's about where we are at the moment uh, as you can see getting some progress getting there. Uh, I'll take a little bit of a break and we might come back with some more. <laughs>